to another episode of Fatherly Advice. My name is Kelly, and today I want to talk about my Traeger Scout. This is Traeger's portable smoker grill. Um, it is electric. It works just like all their other smokers. Um, I really like it. I take this camping with me. It goes in our RV. Uh, we've taken it to the beach. We've taken it to Tahoe, to uh, uh, the cabin, and use it outside Tahoe. Um, it's a really convenient smoker. And, uh, and it's pretty affordable. Um, it retails for uh, 329 is where the where Traeger has it priced. You can get a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Sometimes they have deals and, and you can find some, some bundles, some packages. Um, but it's, uh, it's a nice little smoker. It uh, weighs about 45 pounds. It's probably the only real negative thing is 45 pounds is not light. So I think it's a good, uh, a good option when you're cooking. Everybody has their favorite way of cooking when they're camping, whether it be a griddle or uh, like a Camp Chef three burner stove with the attachments or, or things like that, or regular propane barbecue. But this one so far has been my favorite one. Um, so it's uh, the dimensions, it's about 13 inches tall, 21 inches wide and 20 inches deep. So it's, it's not too big, it's pretty compact. Uh, it's not the smallest grill I've ever seen, but it, is, it, it does work and it, it packs nicely into you know, the back of a trailer or a trunk of your car or uh, you know, obviously like your, your storage spots on your RV. <clears throat> Total cooking space you have, and I'll open this up for you so you can see it. You've got 176 square inches of cooking space. Um, which sounds like a whole lot, uh, but it's really not that big of a cooking section. You can do six burgers, you can throw uh, probably 10 hot dogs, a full rack of ribs is, is what Traeger advertises. Um, but uh, it does have a four pound hopper capacity for your pellets. Um, and those typically, I just leave those in there after I'm done cooking. Uh, when you close this, there's a little thing here that holds the lid closed. As long as you latch this, your pellets aren't going anywhere. They're not spilling out. The auger doesn't let them fall out. Um, and uh, overall, it's a, it's a cool little smoker. So uh, I'm going to show you how assembly goes and, and what parts uh, need to be put together. And then we'll pick up some, some hot dogs and uh, give you a little demonstration. Okay, guys. So I did want to show you this, uh, this trigger after I installed the feet on the bottom, which uh, they, those come inside. They're in a box inside. It does also come with a handle, um, and that is stored inside the hopper during shipping. So pull that out of there, it's zip tied in. Two screws, you got your handle on, one screw per foot on the bottom, and uh, and you're pretty much ready to go. Um, you do wanna make sure you unwrap the tray underneath and your grill, um, but it does come with the Traeger uh, recipe book, and then the owner's manual, and then uh, just some other advertisements but you get a screwdriver that'll help you install your feet and your handle and then you get a smoking probe that will plugs in here to the front and that'll tell you let you put it in the meat and keeps track of the meat temperature for you um, one nice thing that does come with the Traeger is the power inverter this is a uh, DC to AC inverter um, basically hook it up to a 12 volt car battery or um, you know just anywhere where you have a 12 volt hookup um, and it converts it to the 115 volt output. Um, it's a 400 watt to 800 watt peak power. Um, this will power your smoker. So if you're, if you're tailgating or um, camping and you don't have access to power or generator, you can, can use your vehicle or, or something like that to, um, to run your smoker. And it does come with little clips to hook up to the, uh, uh, the battery terminals. Um, I've never used this personally, but it is nice that, they, that it comes with that. Uh, I like keeping this in my camping gear just as a backup if I need power for anything else. Uh, but like I said, it plugs into a, a normal wall outlet, uh, three prong outlet, and uh, works great every time we go out camping. So, um, okay, so now that we're all assembled, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my hopper. These are a uh, Bear Mountain Premium Barbecue Woods pellets, uh, bourbon barbecue flavor. I think my favorite color to use is like a cherry wood. Um, but on our last camping trip, I ran out of pellets, so I just went to the local grocery store. Um, it's great about smokers, they're so common now that most stores carry some kind of pellets. So if you do run out, it's easy to find them. But these are just the little sort of tubular shaped pellets. Um, and I 
I normally store them in my RV uh, in a case like this. Um, just because it gets tossed around, they won't spill. These have never spilled out of here once this is latched down and locked. It does not open in there, so you can turn this sideways and it doesn't, uh, nothing spills out of it, at least out of the hopper. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that a whole lot, but uh, it does work pretty great. And, and what I would do is, I like to close it, set it to whatever temperature I want it at. So right now I've got it set to 250. Let it heat up, you let it sit and it'll give you the readout here on the front. It'll go to 250, it'll go past 250 and then throttle back a little bit and sort of find that sweet spot of being where you want it to be at. Um, all right guys, so we're at 110 degrees. You can see the smoke's really going. I decided to do some hot dogs. I had a pack of hot dogs that needed to go. And so, um, throw these on there. After you start playing with this for a while, you'll notice that this side catches a lot of heat and so does the back side. Um, so you don't want to put things too far over there. I like to keep them just off and uh, we'll let this run and get up to temperature and it'll smoke. And these are the cheapest hot dogs they make. I think it's a couple bucks for a pack of 15 or something. Uh, but my kids love them. They're uh, on the smoker. They really turn out nice. And, uh, so we'll let that get up to temp. Okay. You can see a couple of them here towards the end blistered up because I got the temperature on high. It's okay, they're hot dogs. And then one last thing I wanted to talk about, and I, I mentioned it earlier, but uh, underneath here, while well, your firebox is hot on the sides here, um, don't touch that, that's, that's crazy hot. Over here is very cool where your hopper is and uh, where your vents are, this whole half. Uh, but obviously where the fire happens is, is much hotter, but underneath, it doesn't create a lot of heat on your countertop or whatever you're putting it on. So uh, that's nice. And the legs that come on it, they, they keep that up and off. and. Uh, um, and keep it away from whatever your countertop is or your tailgate or anything like that. So it shouldn't cause any warping or damage. I always do it on a table or on a fire pit itself, like on a, on a barbecue at a campground um, or a countertop that I, I don't really care all that much about. Um, but then when you're turning it off, you do want to shut, go to your shutdown cycle. That'll run through and burn off the rest of your pellets without moving your auger. Um, and that way you don't have to worry about overcooking or overburning things on the next one. Um, it also lets you vacuum out the hopper area or your, your fire bowl much easier once everything cools down. Um, the handle does not get hot, uh, it keeps it very cool. The box itself gets pretty warm, uh, especially on the right side here. Um, but but that's pretty much it. And I mean, all right, so there you have it. Uh, that was obviously a quick demo, um, just cooking hot dogs. But uh, I have done tri tips. I have done burgers and chicken and and uh, ribs and and everything cooks really well. The one thing I can't get to cook really well on here is a pizza. I like doing pizzas in my, my bigger vertical smoker. Um, it's one of the kids' favorite things to do. They make their own pizza. We throw the raw dough in there and, and cook it. And um, This one is just it's too compact to do that, so uh, I would stay away from that. But uh, overall, I, I think it's a really great little smoker. Uh, well worth the money. Really a good tool to have when you're camping. Um, and, uh, and as I mentioned, I definitely recommend getting the liners for the bucket as well as the liners for your drip tray. Uh, one last accessory that I do recommend, just because this is, it does weigh 45 pounds, it's a little bulky, it, it doesn't have handles on the side which some of the other smaller electric grills like this or electric smokers have some handles. Um, but it also it gets dirty after you use it for a while you're gonna have that buildup of like grease and, and like that black soot and ash and it, it it's a barbecue it's gonna get dirty grills don't stay clean ever uh, but smokers especially get real dirty so um, one thing I like is the Traeger to go bag um, this is I think it retails for about 70 bucks you can usually get them cheaper 40 bucks on Amazon um, but this is a nice bag that just it goes in there it's huge I even throw accessories, I throw like a grill brush in there with it. 
um, and uh, like my camping tongs and, and uh, uh, spatula and things that I use normally with the grill. Um, but uh, and then I just throw this whole bag. It's got big handles on it. Throw the whole bag in my storage compartment on my on my RV, and it uh, it keeps the smell inside the bag. It keeps all the the sort of the grisly crap that's on there inside the bag. So the inside of the bag gets a little dirty, but uh, but it's a that's a really nice thing to have with uh, with this smoker. Um, so yeah, don't forget to uh, follow, like, subscribe, share, and uh, and thanks for checking it out. Have a great day, guys.